In this video, I'm going to be showing you the ultimate Minecraft Java Edition mobile setup. If you guys didn't see my last video where I installed Pojav Launcher on my phone, turns out there's a massive community behind Pojav Launcher and I've gone ahead today and I've installed myself a Minecraft PvP client on there which I'll show you guys how to do in this video. I also connected up my keyboard and mouse and I did some PVP on Hypixel. And we even threw in a stress test as well, where I exploded a load of TNT in a single player world to try and nuke my phone. If you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe down below for more Pojav Launcher content. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install a client. Now, I said in my last video that I wasn't sure if you could even get Optifine on Pojav Launcher. But fortunately, loads of people flooded to the comments and corrected me. And you can actually get PvP clients on Pojav Launcher. You just download and install them as normal. There is a couple of steps that aren't very clear, which took me ages to work out. There are loads of tutorials out there, but they're not very clear. Some of them aren't in English, so I decided to do this segment of the video just to show you guys how to do it. So, we're going to go ahead and install CM Pack Client, so you can get that on their website. I'll leave it in the description down below. I've done a video on this before. If you want to see the review of that, I'll leave that also in the description. So, yeah, we just go ahead and download it as normal like we would on PC. So, yeah, we're downloading the .zip here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and download it again because I've already got it. Now we need to make sure we've got an app called Z Archiver. This won't work with any other app on the Google Play Store. I was using an app called X Folder before and I just kept getting my game just kept crashing and I just couldn't work it out. So make sure you guys have got Z Archiver. You can get that on the Google Play Store. So yeah, if we go ahead and open this with Z Archiver, I'm just going to go just once just for now. So as you can see, we need to extract this folder to our versions folder. Now to find your .minecraft folder, you'll need to grant the Z archiver access to your phone storage and you'll need to enable hidden files, which you can do by going to settings, file list, and make sure you turn on this option here to show hidden files. So now what we need to do is if you're on Android 10 like me, I'm going to go ahead and copy this to my versions folder. So if we go ahead and we go to Android, go to data, scroll all the way down and find net.kdt.pojavlaunch, go to that, go to files, and then your .minecraft should be there. So you just go on that, go to versions, and just paste it in there like you would on Minecraft PC. So I've got mine in here, and that's literally all you need to do. You can also install resource packs this way as well. I suppose if you've got Forge, you can put your mods in here and you can also put your Optifine settings and you can also view your control maps here as well if you're a touch player. And then just go to the version selector here, scroll down, find the client that you've installed. Now I recommend using this renderer. It's the one at the very bottom, VGPU. I found that gives me the best FPS. And then as for runtime Java VMs, I'm just using the regular internal Java 8. So yeah, it's pretty confusing. This took me so long to work out. As you can see, it's just opening up. And here we go. It's been a while since I've used CM Pack Client. So uh, it's pretty different. It's got the kind of cheap breaker layout here, which looks quite cool. Anyway, if you just go into my single player world here, just test it out. All right, and here we are in my single player world using CM Pack Client. So if I just disable the GUI here, as you can see, we've got all the generic CM Pack mods on. We've got the Keystrokes mod, Compass, FPS, all that good stuff. If you want to see an updated video on the CM Pack Client, definitely let me know in the comments section down below. Now, I must admit, the touch controls, they work for some people. But I just suck at using them. If you guys saw my last video on Pojav Launcher when I tried to use the touch controls, it's safe to say it wasn't a good idea and I should have never have attempted it because it is so difficult. If you guys out there do play touch controls, huge props to you because I just can't do it. So this is where my mobile setup comes in. So you may have noticed I've got my mobile stand here. If we just rest my phone on there, connect up my USB Type-C dongle, and boom, we are in. And yeah, that basically means we can now play Minecraft using our phone as a PC. We've got my mouse plugged in, as you guys can see here, my gaming mouse, and we've got my gaming keyboard as well here. 
Unfortunately, the lights don't work on the keyboard, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, it's pretty good. So here we are. I'm playing Minecraft just like I would on PC using my keyboard and mouse. I'm getting insane FPS on my phone. We're getting about 300 FPS. Our settings are turned down quite a bit, but it doesn't really matter. You know, we are playing the full Java edition here on my phone, which is so insane. All right, so here we are playing a Hypixel Duel on my phone. It's really difficult to see. I must admit, playing on my phone screen is quite difficult. See if we can get this guy. So much easier now I don't have the latency of streaming to my PC monitor. Ah, he got me. GG. I've got quite high sensitivity on. I think I'm on hyper speed right now just to actually be able to play. Oh, getting the combos. Hey, there we go. It's much better. If you guys remember my last video, I was just getting absolutely destroyed. It was just the latency of streaming to my monitor. Actually playing on the phone screen, although it is quite hard to see. <laughs> I had to get some glasses or something. It's very small. You know what? I think when I go away now, I'm not even going to bother bringing my laptop. If I want to play some Minecraft on the go, I think Pojav launches my one-stop shop, really. I can literally play on my phone. I'd have to bring my keyboard and mouse with me because I won't be able to play on the touch screen. But this is just insane. Come on. GG. That was very close there. I think I might just not rod. It just allows them to get so many hits on me. All right, let's up the ante a bit and let's play some combo duels on my phone. This is either going to go really well or really badly. Here we go. We're comboing someone on my phone. No. Get him back. Yes. Oh, no. All right, guys. We're going to go even further. We're going to play Hypixel Sky Wars on Pojav Launcher on my phone. Now, if you'd have told me that you'd be able to run Minecraft Java Edition, go on Hypixel and join a Sky Wars game using a mobile phone with no remote control software, like remote controlling a PC or anything like that, I wouldn't have believed you. But we're actually doing it. It is possible with Pojav Launcher. And here we are. Wow, this is insane. Here we go, first fight. No, there's no way we're going to win that. We just had nothing. That's insane. This is full Hypixel Sky Wars running off a phone, playing with my keyboard and mouse. How insane is that? Look at this. Obviously, playing is... Uh, completely different thing but to actually see it running and for the fps to actually be quite good as well i mean look at that well i should probably show you up there look at that 100 200 fps high pixel sky wars on my phone this is insane all right guys so it looks like we can't get shaders working today however make sure you get subscribed because i'm going to do another video on shaders on pojav launcher so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but for now we're just running on the internal shaders here and yeah, let's just throw a load of TNT everywhere. Let's just go absolutely crazy here and uh, just do a TNT test. I used to love watching TNT tests back in the day on uh, new computers. So let's see how this goes. We've crashed already. Too much TNT. I didn't even blow it up. That's the weird thing. Yeah, our TNT is still here. Let's go for a TNT test. I'd say that's enough TNT. We don't want anything anything more. We don't really want to blow up my phone here. So yeah, we've got our FPS on screen. So you can see how much FPS we go down by. I wouldn't be surprised if we crash, honestly. But let's have a look. This could be interesting. Right. Okay. Are we ready? And in three, two, one. Watch our FPS just plummet. One FPS we got there. Loads of one FPS, but we didn't crash. Wow. It's insane. I suspect a shaders test with TNTs in order. But 
That's pretty good.